So Power World actually officially made an amazing announcement. They have a crazy update coming up. And no, it's it's not about the fact that they have sold another million copies. I mean, yes, there is that, of course. It's like at this at this point <laughs> at this point they're gonna be at like 365 million by the end of well next year <laughs> but besides the point i mean but it's inevitable this is gonna be probably 8 million by the time this video goes up but the future of power world they actually have an update for us and i think this is amazing we're gonna check this out guys make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates because this is a very big one and we're gonna have some even more amazing ones coming soon help raise that 38 percent even higher now let's read this the future of power world we'd like to share with you the roadmap for power world sales have far exceeded the development team's expectations and we are currently experiencing many problems due to excessive access congestion among other challenges yeah i've noticed that myself i'm playing on a co-op server with me and my uh my friends and we do get a little bit of like hiccups here and there and the frames have been dropping recently and sometimes returning to title and starting up a new session will fix that but ultimately it just happens over a long play time we will continue to prioritize improving this issue first and move on to implementing new in-game features thank you for understanding the new in-game features are amazing guys early access roadmap addressing critical issues currently numerous bugs have been identified and we are prioritizing fixing those sometimes the world date may experience rollbacks and the loading screen may persist when trying to load into worlds and so on improvements to implement asap key configuration improvements improvements to base pal ai and pathing this is a big one of course i mean not the main focus of this update but like seriously this is huge because i can't tell you the amount of times that i'll leave come back to my base and like two of my pals are like hungry and like borderline dead with like fractures and i come to find that they fell off somehow on the side of a cliff and they're just like stuck there not moving and i have to reset them i mean it happens to everybody and also even if you put a like tree or like something for them to mine right next to the pal uh, a box of storage or whatever they often get stuck in between and it just takes forever for them to drop off things when they're trying to gather so that it has been kind of a hassle but obviously early access and this is great that they're looking forward to fixing that especially the pathing but the planned future updates guys you probably seen this as i've been ranting about as i've been talking about that previously but pvp pvp this is huge this is big this is awesome this is what i think would make this game even more special it's blowing my mind because of how the other options exist to customize your pals i've been messing around with the essences i've been taking and experimenting with a fox spark which is one of the very early but like great pals that you can find and there's a lot of them so i've been messing with the essences and trying to get this like 32 and even 64 of <laughs> fox sparks so this way i can sacrifice them to boost one that i bred and I'm going to make a video going more in depth about breeding. I've been going through like experimenting with stuff. I decided to do the Fox Bark because it is like one of the easiest early on like uh, pals you can get that you can utilize in battle very well. But I found one with aggressive uh, passive and I found another one with muscle head passive, which both boost the attack damage. And I bred them two together and I after two tries, I finally got a pal that has both of those passives together, which is amazing. And ultimately i'm trying to level it up now i think I, the highest i had gotten to was like 25 but it's got like almost 500 or something attack at level 25 which is crazy because my level 32 fox spark doesn't even have that <laughs> and it's much higher i can't wait to try breeding out with other pals to see how much further you can take this because obviously fox spark is like a very intro level pal and there's other even crazier ones that if you can find multiple of and get really good passives and breed them you can ultimately get the best possible variant on top of that you can boost it with essences you could also boost it with pal souls as well the possibilities are endless really and truly it's just it is a grind of course but it's one of the things that i find the most interesting when it comes to rpg mechanics and just trying to get the best possible stats right obviously this is not something that you need to do not everybody's going to do this people are just going to play the game and enjoy it for what it is but this is just for like the pvp enthusiasts and people that really like to get super broken uh, I'm an RPG fan, sue me. Oh, and also another amazing thing about PvP, I don't think they're going to do this, but I think it would be a really good idea if they made it like it was PAL versus PAL combat and also turn-based. I mean, yes, it would be very similar to, uh, to Pokemon, but I think that PvP can get pretty wild considering how broken you can get certain encounters like say if it's a if it's a trainer versus trainer and they're 
throwing their pals out there are certain mechanics you can abuse like you can keep calling back in your pal right before it gets hit over and over again to like prolong the fight or it could just make it based on the trainer's like health if the trainer gets taken out then you know the fight is over or whatever or you have to take out a trainer first and then it's pal we'll have to see how that works out but i think if they made pvp somehow had a, a, a turn-based element to it i think that'd be great maybe multiple different pvp options you could have the trainer versus trainer mode and then you could also have a pal versus pal mode and see how that works out i think that'd be really cool either way i can't wait to see how they take it because the possibilities are endless really and i mean yeah we know this thing has obviously taken a lot of inspiration a lot of inspiration some would say even ripped off a lot of things from pokemon but i think combat wise it wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing for them to go ahead and also do that it doesn't have to be the same way that pokemon does i think that if they introduce some unique mechanics to it and put their little spin or a little twist on it it can provide some very fun interactions especially and prolong the game's life even more i mean they got over 8 million people now they are gonna want and two million concurrent that's insane they're gonna want to keep that up right and then we got raid bosses end game content which is great that's always always something special and we can enjoy with multiple teams and stuff and oh my god look at me i should have just looked down here a little bit earlier <laughs> pal arena pvp for pals so i guess you just you throw your pals in an arena and they go toe to toe and i don't know if it'll be turn-based i don't know if it'll be real time either way i think that'd be really cool to like level up your pal grow it give it the best abilities that you possibly can get it and have it face off against other people's pals i don't know if they'll do like some matchmaking stuff or it's going to be based on your server either way i think that this is a really cool idea the fact that they have the pvp which would be trainer versus trainer and pal versus pal in addition to that they also have the individual pal versus pal yeah i should have read that a little bit more but that's that's exciting that's really amazing and of course steam and xbox crossplay should be implemented and that's great that they're looking forward to doing that i don't know if this is an order of things that they're going to be doing after they do improvements i think that'd be amazing if the first patch that they do introduces pvp then raid bosses i mean i'm not hard pressed to get raid bosses right now because there's still a lot left to do there's still a lot left to explore between all of that and improving your base there's just a lot of time being consumed in the game right now and i don't think we're in a rush as of right now for raid bosses and end game content i'm just saying from my perspective i haven't yet to even uh, attempt the first tower uh, i've just been enjoying my time and you know grinding out my pals <laughs> but steam and xbox crossplay will only only be more of a positive eventually who knows playstation they're always late with this sort of thing maybe a year down the line they'll jump into the fold but that'll obviously increase the player base even more because right now it's just between xbox and steam and we're already at over 7 million crossing over to 8 million purchases not counting game pass ridiculous numbers to think about by the way you throw playstation into the mix playstation obviously has a bigger play pool than xbox and possibly pc as well that could be really huge i think for the game in general and maybe it's something in their their year two plans we'll have to see on that various xbox feature and improvements server transfers and migrations that is fucking huge that's massive man you know how many times i was talking with my friends and i'm like so sad and nervous against like starting up my own or creating a new server that'll be like public for like our community to be able to jump in but like sad that i'm gonna lose everything if we could actually transfer and migrate our characters our pals uh not necessarily the bases but just like our what we have already achieved that's huge especially since the pal essence system and upgrading system is so deep and it would be it would suck if you go you really have all that just locked to one world and you can't access other ones hell i would i would really enjoy that i think that's a really cool idea improvements to the building system always a plus i mean it does need some work of course it's 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 okay for what it is right now but uh obviously it's early access so they definitely have more plans on that new islands that's cool pals bosses and technologies ultimately great great solid roadmap i love everything that they've mentioned in here man i was completely like i read this and i'm just like yo we got to make this video now asap but like pal arena pvp for pals that's huge that's gonna be a big deal uh, i don't think it'll be coming first or it'll i don't think it'll be coming at the same time as the first pvp but eventually when that does come around that's gonna be a big hit i think just customizing and breeding the ultimate like strongest pal that you possibly can with the best passives the best stats and maximizing that in a pvp essence i think that's gonna be 
really cool and not only that man server transfers improvements in the building system new islands pals just overall more content on this game i cannot complain man this is this is really good and you know shout outs to the devs this is a great roadmap announcement and of course it does say early access roadmap so these are things that they have planned to implement during the early access portion not ne not necessarily when the game fully releases which could take some time i mean a lot of games are in early access for a couple years before they actually become a full realized product i mean this stuff is crazy to see man i mean geez two million all-time peak eight hours ago so like eight hours ago what are, <laughs> at that time early in the morning my time eastern is when everybody in the world is playing this game and that's just nutty to even think about guys really something special that we're witnessing right now uh who knows what the future of this game is going to be i mean besides the the roadmap future of course uh whether or not they have experienced any legal issues or the game gets taken down or whatnot we'll have to wait and see how that plays out it doesn't seem like there's any actions being taken on that front as of yet because i mean we do know that the person that did the pokemon mods for power world got almost and within like 12 hours nintendo came for them immediately they said as much so far this game has been announced for quite some time it's been in early access for quite some time creators have been playing this for like two months before last friday when it was released and now it's like really a huge worldwide phenomenon at this point and i, I don't know if nintendo is just collecting evidence or what or, I, I, or maybe they haven't found any way to really like <laughs> uh deal with it maybe there isn't any issues maybe power world devs actually did not infringe on their i copyright and steal their wire meshes and all that stuff a lot of it has been speculation on twitter and i'm gonna be straight up with you guys i love the game i enjoy it i have a lot of fun i spent hours just after i make these videos i go log on and i just i'm just playing the game i'm enjoying it man i'm having a good time i think ultimately this game is pretty special and it's a lot of fun and it's something that i personally enjoy i love survival type games i also love i love monster hunter games as well but man this is exciting i can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments below sound off let's get a discussion going be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more power world videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.